Good morning. This is Amarjot Singh. I'm in Edmonton, Canada. And as usual, I talk to different people about immigration, uh, immigration and related queries and problems, uh, how to come to Canada. And, you know, we discuss the issues with, uh, with guests that I routinely invite. And today I'm happy to invite my friend who is also an expert in uh, properties, specifically hotels and motors in Canada. So the purpose is to find out if a investor from overseas who is looking to come to Canada, maybe qualify for immigration based on the amount of money he spends here, can he buy a hotel, a running hotel, a motel, or any investment property, and then later he can qualify. So Mr. Tilak, you can see his name there. Tilak, how are you? I'm doing very well, uh, Amar Jod, Mr. Amar Jod. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking time from a busy schedule to talk to our guest about hotel industries in uh, and hotels uh, in Canada. Uh, tell me, tell me, um, if somebody wants to buy a hotel, why why would they buy a hotel in Canada to start with? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, Canada is one of the most preferred uh, destinations in North America at this point of time. Uh, I could give you several uh, reasons behind it. Is from an investment perspective, right now our dollar uh, is is pretty much at a at a at a stagnating uh, value. It is definitely people internationally who have more money can invest in Canada than they can in, in the United States. Uh, secondly, Canada itself is one of the most preferred destinations for investments. Uh, hotels is one of the main criteria, is what I have noticed for the past seven years being here in Canada. In, in Canada. Uh, so well, I live in Edmonton, which is uh, the capital city of uh, Alberta. And Alberta is the oil and gas uh, energy sector of this province. Uh, a lot of people who have known about Canada, we have undergone some recent times. But as we know how the economics work, it is always a trajectory once it has reached its, its lower bottom. And I feel that this is the right opportunity for, it is pretty much a buyer's market that people who have uh, investment, uh, the, this is the right opportunity for them to come and invest in Edmonton dominantly. Uh, I would say not in other places, but mainly in Edmonton because it's, it's, it's one of the most booming cities right now. Now, when we talk about, uh, we have, we've just had a new elections, the provincial elections, uh, facing Kenny, who is the conservative party. He's supporting the pipeline here in, in Alberta. And, uh, he projects that this year the economic rate was just 0.6% growth. And next year they do anticipate a 2.3%. So what that brings into investors' mind is, being a buyer's market, it's the right price you could buy because at some point of time, the investment, the land value, the property value is definitely going to grow. And as they're going to have more influx of business opportunities in Edmonton, there's definitely going to see the investment that you have definitely will have an asset value uh, in, in Edmonton. And uh, another thing what Jason Kenney has also decided to do is he's cutting down a lot of corporate tax by 8%. So, in other words, it's one of the most favorite destinations for uh, Edmonton in all over North America by 2023. So, these are a few underlining factors why I feel Edmonton as in such, but also other places in Canada, as you can see, uh, other provinces are definitely booming better than uh, Alberta, but uh, uh, Canada is definitely the most preferred destination for uh, investment opportunities. Yeah. Uh Typically, most of the provinces entrepreneur programs require investors, foreign entrepreneurs, to bring in their money from overseas um, and then invest in a running business or create a new business if they can, and then qualify based on that project. Uh, many provinces they start from 200,000, 300,000, and then there's no higher limit. I know in British Columbia. Uh, as in other provinces, you know, sometimes hotels are expensive, you require more money, half a million and above. So if somebody has, somebody has, let's say, one million dollars, close to like five crore rupees, what kind of hotel can he buy? What can, what kind of investment hotel can we get? 
Yeah, so hotels is one of uh, four with, with $1 million. Uh, typically, you would get a, an independent motel in a remote location. Uh, this would be idealistically about 20 rooms to 30 rooms. Motel is what we're looking at. And in British Columbia, the, the beauty of having a smaller hotel in these remote areas is these are seasonal businesses. So if they are in a resort locations, they are definitely bound to uh, have 100% occupancy during the high season. And here the seasonal is such that eight months out of the year is, is the high season. And the low seasons are only during the extreme winter times, which is in November, December, January. So that also doesn't mean to say that you're, you're, you're underperforming, but you're just not making the, uh, perhaps you do a 40% occupancy. So with that $1 million investments, definitely they can invest into a motel. But now if they feel that they also want to explore other than motels, then you could look at restaurants, fast foods, and gas stations. These are something that also I bring my expertise when it comes to investment opportunities. So there is no set amount that if they bring in only five or 10 million, they're entitled to make an investment. Anything ranging from, as you said, 200,000 to 1 million, and then the sky is the limit. There's definitely opportunities that you can always see. Yeah, I've got I've got some people typing in and, you know, people who are watching this show, if they want to ask the question by the guest, they can type the question and I can read out the question question to them. Sadish Itani says, hello, hello, Sadish, how are you? Uh, you can ask a question, just type a question and I can read out the question to the guest. Uh, now, people who are bringing in money from overseas, uh, why? They can they can buy a hotel or they can buy something else. Uh, if they buy a hotel and if they have no experience running the hotel in their country, I'm I'm looking at many inquiries I get from people in Dubai and uh, Saudi and Bahrain and uh, U.S. also Europe. Uh, they have some money. They have close to half a million to one million dollars, and they want to use the money to buy a running business so that they can qualify with family for immigration into Canada. Uh, I like the hotel business because hotel is a turnkey running business. They can quickly acquire it and they can quickly get it running. There's not much of a lag time. But people who do not have experience running the hotel, how can you help? Can you help them run the hotel? Absolutely, Amarjot. Thanks for asking me that question. I'm very pleased to say that I have my own consultancy business. Uh, just to date back my experience, I am in the industry for the past 17 years, 10 years of multiple portfolio management, acquisition and rebranding in the United States for the past 10 years. And in the recent seven years, I've been doing that here in Canada. So to summarize in a nutshell, I have actually opened six intercontinental hotel group hotels, which is one of the major chain hotels here in the uh, U.S. as well as the first assignment was in San Francisco Airport, and then the remaining five hotels I have opened here in the vicinity. Uh, I also had uh, my recent experience with the Hilton Group of Hotels. Uh, so definitely the reason why I, I talk about investment is I am saying that this gives me the opportunity for coaching the person to, I do a do business analysis to make sure this is the right property to purchase. Uh, this, 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 I, I do have a checklist. So first it comes to the business plan, the location. You want to know who are in our co co competition. You also would like to know about how the hotel is performing. This is where I bring in my expertise. Uh, this is what I have done, not besides even acquisition of hotels. I've had investors who are interested in keeping properties, existing properties, and they want to make sure if this would be a good turnkey operation and a good investment. So here is when I bring my expertise and I do have a, a comprehensive checklist. Basically, as I would mentioned, first is the location, the competition, the economic viability, and then I will help the investor in opening the hotels as well as running the hotels, however they would like to have the contract, whether it's a one year or a two year, depending on the scope and magnitude of this investment and, and, and the, the magnitude of this project. So the I name have my... I'm sorry, so I was about to say the name of my uh, hospitality uh, business is called Legacy Hospitality. 
uh, I can be reached as Galak at legacyhospitality.ca. I can spell it out for you, C-H-I-L-A-K, at legacyhospitality.ca for further questions if anyone may have. Uh, one, of my, one of my friends, Mr. Mir Khan, Mir Khan is also watching this show and maybe attending and he's listening in. Uh, Mir Khan also is uh, expert in uh, real estate commercial and uh, um, so so let, let us say in Edmonton or in Alberta I, if I want to buy a hotel do I have to go to a broker or I, I can buy it directly through to your uh, expertise by talking directly to the seller do we need to hire a commercial real estate broker uh, no, it is, I would suggest not to go through a broker because of the fact that I do have a lot of ex experience in acquisition of hotels. Uh, so that's why. I, and if you go through a commercial broker, there's just so many. Uh, I have done it in the past, and I know most of the operators in the Alberta as well as the British Columbia area. And uh, I'm well versed in the fraternity. And, and if that being said, with a broker, they, they just don't have the the technical skill set i do bring the technical skill set in terms of the the revenue and how this property is performing and and so that gives me a full sense of acquiring the property which one to buy which is not to buy in terms of a realtor the realtor may not have the technicality knowledge unless unless the realtor has had experience in dealing with these kinds of properties for a long time uh, they may may or may not uh, know this, but you know we've got to check whether they have those knowledge. So, uh, do you have any hotels available right now, which uh, prospective clients or prospective buyers can take a look by contacting you? Most directly? certainly, I have a lot of prospective sellers here in the Edmonton market, but I also have a lot of contacts outside the Edmonton area as well, in the whole province of Alberta, uh, even to the extent of British Columbia. Uh, so. I would, I would, if anyone is interested in, 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 in a specific location or in a specific province, I'm more than happy to, to basically find out what this person is looking at in terms of how many number of rooms, what's the size, uh, and, and whether they want it in a primary location or a secondary or a territory market, which is a remote area. Uh, I do have a lot of contacts being here for, for the past seven years because it is a very small fraternity. I have built some great reputation, and uh, and I, I just it's it's now the time where I would like to help investors who are seeking to invest in uh, in Canada. Yeah, uh, usually when people buy the property and when they are filing for the immigration through nomination program, they also will require a exhaustive business plan or business project plan. Will you help them make the plan? Yes, absolutely, because that's where when you're talking about investment is before anyone seeks a certain uh, property, I will do a due diligence, which comprises of uh, a detailed business analysis. Uh, but before even we move further, we, we want to make sure that the person who is interested in, in acquiring the hotel is, 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 is only based on a serious inquiry. Uh, because it is, it requires a lot of uh, comprehensive uh, uh, fine lining and, and attention to detail about the income statements of a, of a property, uh, trying to see where it is right now and where we feel that we can do better. So it's more like me contacting the seller and, and basically signing a non-disclosure agreement. But since it takes to that level, it's based on serious inquiries. That's when I can do a a detailed uh, due diligence of this property's uh, current condition and and what is performing in terms of its return on investment. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, besides besides hotels, do you also deal with other? I'm sorry, Amarjo. There's there's a lot of noise in the background. Something shaking up there. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Uh, beside beside the hotels, do you have other investment properties that uh, that you can make available for sale, like a McDonald's franchise or Tim Hortons franchise or anything that the that the buyers can buy turnkey? Yeah, so I've reached, now I've started to work with uh, also with the food chain because I come from the hospitality industry. 
Uh, I come from yeah. a full service background as well. So I've started to tap more into the into the fast food market as well with McDonald's. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of them know Tim Hortons is one of the major coffee chains here in in, in, in Canada. And uh, Burger King, of course. Uh, I've also contacted some of the sellers who are seeking interested in, in selling their properties. Uh, the reason they do so is it's not that because it's underperforming. The main key behind it is perhaps investors just want to pull their money off because they just have had it for a long time when I've spoken to these uh, uh, when I've spoken to the sellers or they've had it, they've ran the show for a very long time and now it's about time they just they just want to retire and that's one of the main reasons. So they, the, the fast food chains that I'll be looking out is for something that's profitable not something that's underperforming. I would never have anyone come and invest in something just for the sake of asset. But definitely, it's a performing property. Yeah. What What is the minimum? What is the minimum amount of money people need to have before they are looking to contact you? What is the minimum amount of money they should have? So here again, it it all depends. If you're looking for a restaurant, you're looking at about two hundred to three hundred thousand uh, dollars investment. Uh, that's the minimum. But if it's a hotel, I would definitely say one million plus would, uh, would be the minimum investment. If they still would like to seek my consultancy services in terms of understanding uh, about the hotels in the in which market, how it is, I would I wouldn't mind having a consultancy uh, fee with them. But first, I'd like to connect with them, understand if they're seriously interested, and that's when I could have a consultancy. Uh, talk with them uh, just to make sure that I have I'm sure I have answered your questions. Yeah. What What is your phone number? Can you read out your phone number? I can type it on the screen so people can call you. Absolutely. Directly. So I'm based here out of Edmonton. Uh, the area code, the country code is one uh, in Canada, and yeah. pr uh, it's five eight seven. Five eight seven. Nine two one. Nine two one. Five two four two. Okay, so let me see if I can get this on the screen. Uh, yeah, so number is on the screen, guys. If you are watching or if you are looking to refer somebody to uh, buying any hotel properties or any franchise business, the phone number is on the screen. Uh, you can call this phone number directly and talk to Tilak. Uh, he is in Edmonton, Canada, same city where I am. And you can talk to him independently and then, you know, discuss your plan, whatever you want to have a business buy. In any province in Canada, he's the best one man going forward and any help. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Tilak. I appreciate your your taking time from your busy schedule and talking to us. And uh, we hope to uh, see you soon and then, um, you know, talk about any specific proposal that comes along. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for your time, Amar Jurk, and uh, we'll connect again. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Take care.